Hey guys, this is Vera from Seekers the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a subspecies of my character designing series and I'm actually just doing some extra references, extra details for the outfits that I've done. So I've designed this outfit well, a long time ago, a couple of years back or two or three years back. And now I just want to add a little bit more details to it, little bits of you know, character reference sheet type of stuff. Um, they don't really serve any purpose except that they're fun and I like doing them since I'm not making any kind of game or uh, comic or anything of that sort. So it really serves no one except myself, I guess, and maybe my friend. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, I usually, or no, not really usually, I occasionally push in some character designing videos. It's essentially just me drawing outfits for my characters and I don't really take the entire holistic character designing approach to it. Uh, generally, when you want to do character designs, you want the outfits or the look of the character to sort of embody and reflect what kind of character they are. Like That's good character design. But given how since I was young, I've always used my characters as a model or as a, yeah, essentially they're models or outfits. So I, I like the outfit first and I put it on the character. Uh, for this character though, he is a flame or a fire mage. Now his outfit doesn't look very magey, but the intention was always to make it look like some sort of uniform. And I think... It does look a little bit uniformish in the fantasy sense. It doesn't look very mage-ish, but I felt like this style suited this character best because he's a very active kind of character. He moves around, he uses fire a lot, so having a lot of things on him weren't like ideal. But anyway, this is just some quick drawings and sketches of sorts. I'm not really doing any intense coloring or any intense shading, even the line light is very quick and sloppy. Because, you know, it's just little details. So right now, it's currently April 4, 2020, as of recording this video. I, yeah, we are still currently in the middle of an enhanced community quarantine here in the Philippines. And especially here in Luzon, or the area that I'm in. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're keeping yourselves safe and healthy. Um, I hope you're staying at home if that's possible for you. If it's not, I hope you're taking care of yourself as much as possible. If you're the frontliners, thank you very much for being out there. Whether you're a doctor, a nurse, a grocery worker, a trash collection crew, or a call center agent, Nonetheless, thank you for being out there, and unfortunately, the circumstances aren't really the best for anyone. <laughs> so let's just pray that this will end soon or blow over soon, and yeah, let's just keep on helping each other. And given that, for us who live on a monthly salary or just has the luxury to be able to stay at home, I do hope that you have time to donate to a lot of well, not a lot of charities, but there are a lot of charities you can donate to, a lot of initiatives, a lot of, you know, government and private entity funded projects that you can, you know, hand, lend a hand to, whether it's cash, whether it's materials, whether it's items of sort, anything will help right now. Yeah. They're easy to find online. Uh, I, this is, I, I might link, if I remember in the, I might link in the description one of the websites, like an information center that you can check out for the Philippines if you wanna, you know, target a certain hospital or target a certain group that you wanna help. So it's, I'll mention it now, it's Help From Home PH. You can go to their site and check what initiatives you can help out. But enough of that for now, let's go back to the video, I guess. 
So initially, what I wanted to do with this video was to put in two detailed designings per video. And because to me, it felt like it was a super fast drawing. At most, I took maybe two days to finish this. And it's not even in the hour count of two days, just I finished it in two days. My usual character designings take me more than a week to finish simply because <laughs> usually when I do them, um, I'm very out of practice drawing digitally, so that adds to the time a lot. And the style of the character designing that I do, I mean in terms of the layering, is also time consuming, blah blah blah. But this one was really fast, so I was thinking that I didn't take that long or like it would only last maybe five to seven minutes if I compress everything. But now that I've compressed and cut and sped things up, it still ended up being 12 minutes. This is actually already pretty fast. This was originally around 20 to 15 minutes. And I managed to like slowly increase the speed till to, to the point where, you know, to the point that you can still watch it without getting dizzy or anything like that. So I guess for videos like this, it will still be one design per video. Uh, yeah, I apparently take longer than I think I do. So one thing about doing, you know, follow-up references several years after you've done the design is that you realize that there are certain things that aren't as practical or they don't really make sense or you don't really remember what you were thinking when you did them. So for example, with those shoes earlier, when I first designed them, they have these little flaps coming out of the sides. And I thought it was a cute design detail. It looked slightly rugged. It looked, you know, not as sleek and polished as it, as most, you know, designs. Or and so it, it reflected his character in, in that way. But when I was actually drawing the references now, or the details, I couldn't figure out how that would work in actual shoes. So here I am just trying to figure out how this would make sense and how I can re retroactively fix or make sense of it. And <laughs> yeah, I just cut it out of the video, but it, it did take me some time trying to figure out how I was going to do certain things or what certain things meant or what certain things would look like if it's viewed in a different angle. Yeah, that's a thing. So you might notice if you if you zoom out later on, here you go. If you zoomed out a bit, you saw that on the shirt, the back of his shirt has like these buttons that clip or snap together. They snap on buttons. They um the, in the intention for those flaps or those cuts in the clothing is that these characters, or a good number of my characters, have wings. I just don't draw them on the actual character when I do the designs. But majority of these characters have wings, so I didn't want to do a backless thing. So one solution, quote unquote, I don't think it's actually really practical, is to just have like holes for it or slits in the clothing in the back. Essentially like sleeves and your neck hole where you just slip your extra appendages through them. And they can be snapped closed because uh, in case they hide their wings or you know, in case I will draw them with wings, there's just no hole there with an actual design element there. Yeah, I don't... Hmm. Yeah, I have very... How many characters do I have with wings? There's a good number of characters that they have with wings, and it has to do with them of what they are, but eh, I won't go into that that much. Now, this love that we're drawing or we're coloring is actually inspired by those uh, display tablet gloves. So if, you're, if you watch a lot of artist YouTubers, you might have come across this where it covers your entire pinky and a little bit of your palm that makes contact with the screen of the display tablet and that's to prevent any friction, oil, sweat uh, from getting on the surface. So it makes it easier or I guess better for the tablet to register the pen that 
it's easy and also it keeps it less oily. So what I did is I actually flipped the concept and I put it on the pointer finger instead. And you might see in the original design, it has some straps that come along the palm inside. So those are uh, adjustable and I don't know, they're just there. It's a design element. Uh, I don't know how practical it is really or how comfortable it is, but I felt like it, it looked very mage-like, so I put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it's not as super, you know, detailed or super interesting as the other videos, but this was fun for me. And if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments. Um, actually, also do let me know what you've been up to over this quarantine period. Have you learned a new skill? Have you been working on your New Year's resolutions? Maybe, <laughs> I don't know, maybe you've just been playing around. Personally, I've been drawing a little bit. I've been playing a lot of Fate Grand Order. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter World, especially now that I got Iceborne recently. I've been playing that a lot as well. Uh, I've been exercising somewhat, so I've been moving my body around a little bit. Yeah, so let me know in the comments what you've been up to as well. And if you enjoyed the video, consider liking the video or subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you around.